Mr. President, Mr. Secretary General, distinguished delegates, it is so wonderful to meet all of you here at my old alma mater. I graduated from Birkerød exactly 55 years ago, a few months from now. So, yes, I could be your grandfather. <laughs> and uh, what I have to say today uh, is, in a way, a grandfather's advice to the generation that will soon take over responsibility for our world. When I graduated all those years ago, Europe was split between East and West. We had a Cold War going on. And only two weeks after I graduated here, I had to soap up and join the army for two years of national service. Those were dramatic days. The Berlin Wall uh, was built and we were called out in the middle of the night uh, and posted on guard duties at some military installations not far from here. And the Cold War became a substantial part of my formative years. But then I also experienced the wonderful days when the Cold War ended. Uh, I was Denmark's foreign minister at that time and those were the busiest years of my life and the most wonderful. I often think that if I could relive a period in my life, not to do things different, but just relive it, experience everything once again, I would like to live again the years of 1989 to 91. In those days, we started to talk about a new world order. A new world order uh, that made us enthusiastic about the prospect of a world that was ruled by the law and with freedom and democracy for all of us. And of a Europe where the borders were opened up so that people could move freely where before they were stopped by border posts or armed guards. Oh, to be young in such a Europe, that was a dream fulfilled. A dream that we had in my generation and that was now, we thought, becoming a reality for our children and grandchildren. A world where we could devote all our energy to fight poverty and uh, work for su sustainability. And that dream lasted some years while we tried to build up this new world order. But today that dream has been crushed. We have a war going on in Europe. We witness how brutal force is once again changing the borders in Europe. Once again border posts are being set up between countries and societies. You might say that we were overwhelmed by our own enthusiasm, that we were naive. We uh, had a Danish poet philosopher, Piet Hein, who wrote some wonderful poems full of wisdom. They were called Grooks. And in the 11 speeches I made as foreign minister to the UN General Assemblies, I always tried to find a quotation from Piet Hein to put into my speeches. And he expressed the case I have just described like this. We think of our age as the age of all ages, when man has grown modern at last. But what other page among history's pages was so overburdened with past? I think he put his finger on the soft spot. We have been overhauled by the past, perhaps because we never really solved the problems of the past. And this is the challenge that you, ladies and gentlemen, will have to deal with when you take over in a not so distant future. It will be up to you to wake up the dream of a new world order, where peace 
and freedom is the basis for coexistence. The basis for such a world is that you listen to each other, that you accept your neighbor's right to have an opinion that might differ from your own. And if grandfathers can give you an example of that, just look at the Honorable Speaker of the Parliament, Mons Lugatoft, and myself. Oh, we have been fighting each other for years in Parliament. <laughs> we still disagree on many things, even though he has grown a little more wise. Uh, uh, but we enjoy our differences. We like to sharpen our wits uh, through friendly discussions and we respect each other. And this underlines the challenge you all have to face up to. I shall probably not live long enough to see the results of what you are up to, but I put the future of our world in your hands, and I would like to ask you to remember another observation by Piet Hein, another group full of wisdom, Brief and to the point, coexistence or no existence. The choice is yours. I wish you a good big man conference.